The top three best and worst things about living in Knoxville, you ask? My name is Sydney Jewell, and as a 21-year-old realtor that grew up in Knoxville, went to college in Knoxville, and will raise my future family in Knoxville, here are my personal best and worst things about living in this area. The first pro on our list is gonna be how easy it is to get connected to other people. If you're somebody that wants to get joined in with other people that like to do the same hobbies as you, maybe you're super into hiking, maybe you're into different types of workout, maybe you like to go to concerts, maybe you wanna join a church. There are many church groups for young couples, maybe you're a senior citizen. There are so many different opportunities for that around Knoxville. Everybody here wants to get to know one another. Whether you're on a walk, you're gonna meet somebody, you're always gonna be getting connected. If you move here, you don't wanna feel like you get here, you move into your dream home, and then you have nobody to spend that time with and share that space with. But Knoxville is the best place for getting to know new people and feeling very welcomed. Living in Knoxville is not just a great decision for all the social aspects that it has to offer, but it's a great decision financially. That's why second on our list of pros is gonna be the cost of living. We are 12 to 15% below the national average. What does that mean? We should definitely check out the other videos on our channel where we've gone in depth about the cost of living. But it just means that our gas is a little bit cheaper, our groceries are a little bit cheaper, and your dollar is gonna go further. Third up on our list of pros is gonna be the natural wonders and beauty that we see here living in Knoxville. Being able to drive to work and be beside the Tennessee River, being able to look into your backyard and see the great Smoky Mountains is just some of the few things that I love about living here. I love that in 30 minutes I can be on a hike with my family up in the mountains or I can go out on the lake. You don't have to live on the lake here in Knoxville to be able to enjoy it. We have multiple public docks and fishing piers that would be so easy to enjoy for you and your family. Another thing, we have four very distinct but mild seasons that we get to enjoy here in Knoxville. My favorite would definitely have to be fall that we're coming upon right now. It is so beautiful, the leaves changing, it's just a great place to be. When moving to a new place, we cannot just look at all the great things that Knoxville has to offer, but we also have to look at some cons. So number one on my list is gonna be traffic. The traffic here has been growing over time with all the population growth and the people that have been moving here. Obviously, that's gonna lead to a little bit more congestion and a little bit more traffic. But many of you that come here, you laugh when we say we have traffic because you're coming from parts of the country that our traffic is nothing compared to what you're coming from. But if you talk to us locals here, we will say that the traffic has been growing with the population and there is a problem with traffic. The second column on my list is gonna be a lack of homes for sale. Many of you are ready to buy and you're ready to go ahead and find that dream home, but it's just not out there right now because the inventory is so low. We're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing homes not staying on the market for very long. But the thing is, if you're willing to wait and go through the process that could be a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, but you're willing to take that time and wait to find your dream home, we eventually will find it. The third con on our list is gonna have to be that the prices of homes are rising. Just like around everywhere else around the country, the price to buy a home has significantly gone up, but here in Knoxville, it is still lower than most places around the country. The good thing around Knoxville is that the cost of ownership is significantly lower than most parts of the country, making it a great place to buy a home. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you got to see a little bit more of my perspective on the best and worst things that Knoxville has. If you're thinking about moving to Knoxville, go ahead and reach out to us. And until then, as my dad likes to say, I can't wait to see you around Knoxville soon.